6th of February 1938 appeared a typical summer's day on Bondi Beach. A crowd estimated about 35,000 enjoyed a hot day. A large sandbank meant that many swimmers had ventured out much further from the shore than usual, but were still only in waist-deep water. Additional surf reels were brought down from the club in anticipation of rescues on such a hot, busy day. Shortly after 3pm, there was a slight lull in the incoming waves, followed by a run of about five or six really big waves in quick succession. These waves swept through the bathers, knocking many of them off their feet and frightening them badly. As each wave surged high up the beach, the next followed closely behind. There was no break for the water to recede. With such a volume of water up the beach, there naturally followed a terrific backwash that swept everything before it, and an estimated 250 swimmers were swept off the sandbank into the deep water. 250 people clawing and grabbing in indescribable panic. Dozens of lifesavers leapt to the reels and put their skills to work to bring patients to shore. Some of the men seemed to go mad. One beltman, Arthur Elm, recalled being seized by five men who refused to let go. He said, I was trying to take the belt to a youngster who was right out the back, but I didn't get the chance. As I went by, dozens yelled for help and tried to grab me. I told them to hang on to the rope as soon as I had got it out. They didn't wait. I didn't think I had a chance when they all came at me. One grabbed me around the neck, two others caught me by one arm, another held me around the waist, and another one seized my leg. I hit the man who had me around the neck, managed to get him on his chin, and he let go. I had to do it, but for that, I would have been drowned myself, and some of the others too. As each unconscious patient reached the beach, work of revival immediately commenced, and when the surf had been cleared of swimmers, the beach resembled a battlefield. A visiting American doctor who just happened to be on the beach and helped work on the rescued swimmers said, I have never seen nor expect to see again such a magnificent achievement. It was a scene I'll never forget. And when I get back to the States, I'll tell them all about your surfmen. There are none like them in the world. With 250 rescues, five drowning deaths and 35 hospitalizations, this is still the largest mass surf rescue in Australian history. This extraordinary day on Bondi Beach became known as Black Sunday. It's a bit like our own local Gallipoli. It defines our identity and heritage as a club. At the end of each season, our goal is to say that while we have patrolled the beach, we have had no lives lost.